Hey guys, we are going to take a look at MetaZoo's history and what actually happened to this game. So as you guys know, I got involved in MetaZoo very early on as one of probably the loudest proponents that MetaZoo was a scam. I was right. The definition of a scam is essentially you take people's money and you don't deliver what they you promise to deliver. And in this case, pre-orders native streamer kit is one example of that that has been quite documented. But players also coming to win a tournament, winning said tournament, and not receiving the prize, prizes they were supposed to receive. That's another example of a scam, right? Because you went into a tournament expecting a certain prize payout, and it wasn't the case. Now... MetaZoo did seem like it was very successful at CollectorCon, so I give them credit for that. They had interesting displays, they had massive lines, and I kind of wonder, where did all these people go? Um, I'm going to show you images from their Facebook, and it does seem like, at one point in time, this was a legitimate game with a lot of people interested in it. I remember the Hello Kitty in San Diego, supposedly that was... You know, they had the longest line, according to MetaZoo themselves, they had the longest line available. So what exactly happened between that time when they were doing really well to today, where the product is actually regarded as a dumpster fire because the product is le legitimately being put in a dumpster? Um, a lot of things have changed. Obviously, there is some, maybe some uh, change from on top. MetaZoo Cryptid Nation limits who can comment on this post. Probably not a good thing that they're getting roasted in the comment section, right? And that was uh, January 25th. They were still doing relatively well, and then it just kind of collapsed. Um, and it just never, ever recovered. And that was kind of an interesting thing, uh, in my opinion, that they, they did do so well. But... Holy shit, man. I mean, it just collapsed. It, it went um, completely, completely to zero, right? Completely to zero. And uh, there's even a Mike Lendell meme with Rudy. <laughs> that's some things. Maybe I'll use that as a thumbnail. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. What is the legacy of MetaZoo, the card game? What should I get? MetaZoo Mike makes a statement. Uh, and so on. I guess this is the same guy making the video posting on the Reddit thread. It was a legit game. Um, it was a legit game. So let, let's read. MetaZoo Game Closer. It, it, it is with a heavy heart that I must announce that effective immediately, MetaZoo Games will be closing and shutting down all operations. I want to take this opportunity to thank everyone in the community for the incredible four-year run that we had. MetaZoo Games was started during the pandemic and provided a home and created a culture that revitalized the TCG industry. Oh, you know, when, oh come on. Like, do you think the TCG industry needed MetaZoo when Pokemon was going to the moon? In, in fact, MetaZoo is just, I mean, at, at best, it was a copy off Pokemon. Launching a new wave of card games, most of them that failed, that now number in the hundreds. Wow, hundreds of new card games. I'm proud to have been part of that, and you should be too. Unfortunately, that era has passed, and faced with logistical and product gridlocks, MetaZoo Games can no longer continue to exist in the current economic and collectibles market. It is my hope that MetaZoo can continue as a IP at some point in time in the future, under new ownership, and I look forward to that day. Now, Mike is trying to own it again. So he, none of this stuff makes any sense. Like he, I don't know why he would say this. I don't know why he would post. Uh, it would have been far easier had he not posted MetaZoo Games Closure, but he decided to post it anyway. Special thanks to all the MetaZoo artists and staff. You know, the artists that were completely eliminated, right? That The artists that who left at the, the time of posting, there wasn't any of the original artists left. The only artist left was Alpha Investments and his kid. The, the only artist left was Alpha Investments and his family, man. Uh, I hope that MetaZoo can continue the IP, blah, blah, blah. 
the memories you created will, will be something we cherish for the rest of our lives, like people not getting paid, people not getting the product they received. I'm sure this is great memories for you know on, on the way out. More information will, will follow and be communicated via our Discord channel when it becomes available. Thanks for everything once again, Mike Waddell. Gary peddled the shit out of this crap in between all his hangings with Logan Paul content, laugh out loud. Logan was in on it, too. They all are all cut from the same cloth, and same people will fall for the next scam. Holy, rest in peace to the guy that paid 20k for the Kickstarter base set box. Oh, people actually paid that much for them? They sure did. F in the chat. Shops are selling Wilderness BB for twelve twenty seven in my country right now. People hoarded them thinking it's the next Pokemon are the dumbest people on earth. The artwork were beyond terrible. Speaking of which, I got ten MetaZoo boxes of I got ten booster boxes of MetaZoo for sale. Hit me up. I bought a few packs for a rip and my buddies were going to teach me to play. I thought the artwork was pretty neat. Quality was awful, the game mechanics were tricky, and I heard some controversies at the tournament. Laughing my ass off, he took everyone's money too, never paid anyone anything, what a loser. Never heard of it, MetaZoo sounds like the name of a cryptocurrency. eBay prices are going crazy now, prices and sales dropping by a minute, crazy to see the rug pull ending. Rudy is going to have a mental breakdown. I mean, I think most of us saw it coming. No one played the game. And the art is awful. I don't know anyone who collected MetaZoo either. Laugh out loud. I loved his video of the shock and meltdown. He's over now. I call this two years ago. Not surprised. I started... It started as a cash grab and was picked up by shillers, scalp scalpers, flippers, aka YouTubers. Immediately, there was no chance for it to grow naturally to have an audience who would remember it fondly 10 to 15 years down the road. For real, F Rudy from Alpha Investment for shilling this shit product. No kidding, on my way to YouTube to unsubscribe to the slime ball right now, I watched him for entertainment, but F that dude. During the pandemic, he was definitely dropping videos of this product. That's literally a MetaZoo card in his image. Not just one card in his image, as this uh, Reddit friend has to understand. It is many, many, many cards in his image. Yikes. Man, at one time, MetaZoo was the shit, man. And it went to, I don't, went to garbage. I think uh, people got too greedy. People got very, very upset. Um, the Reddit is a pretty interesting. When you go back in time and you read some of the posts, I mean, they were true. Um, whenever I made a native MetaZoo video two years ago, you just get a ton of haters coming out, and including Alpha Investment himself would come out and say, hey, you're not right. You're just uh, jelly. Yeah, I'm jelly. My uh, $10,000 cards are not worthless now. Black Lotus to the moon. <laughs> 